All right, game night for UNO hockey. Practice day at the Sweet 16 for Creighton's men's basketball. Matt Satilli with the Jays in Detroit, but let's first start with Lauren Michelson with the Mavericks, who are getting ready for their first NCAA tournament game in three years. Out in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Andy. Yeah, well, the Mavs have plenty of support here in Sioux Falls tonight. And as a host school, they've already made their mark. That signature O on the ice all over the Premier Center. But tonight won't be an easy feat. Two-seeded Minnesota, the reigning defending national runner-up, and enter tonight with a record of 22-1-5. and five. The Gophers are the 37th ranked face-off team in the country with a win percentage of almost 50% and they average three and a half goals a game this season, 10th in all of college hockey. For the Mavs say when they play their best, they can compete with anyone. I think that we can beat anyone in this country. We, we played a really tough conference. We beat Nodak multiple times. Uh, we beat Denver too. So I think that uh, the Minnesota team is going to be very similar to these two teams. Yeah, they're a good team. Uh, they're fast in transition. They got a lot of skill. So. I think for us it's slowing them down, being smart with the puck and just uh, outworking them and out detailing them. When I'm on the ice, I just try to be a dog out there, dog on a bone, just um, kind of being relentless, getting on the forecheck, get after their guys and just kind of hunt them, hunt them all over the ice. Not only Jack, but all of the Mavs hope to take that dog mentality into tonight's game. Puck drops at 7.30 on ESPNU after game one wraps. And Boston University, the clear leader so far in this one. So if Omaha gets the upset win over Minnesota, they'll face them. For now, reporting live in Sioux Falls, I'm Lauren Michelson, KTV Newswatch 7 Sports.